Now, your eyewitness weather forecast. Okay, so it is going to be a roller coaster ride as we get into the forecast here. Uh, first, we uh, start to count down the days. So uh, here we go. Uh, are, do you have your costume ready yet, Jamie? No? What are you going to be? No idea. Okay. I don't either. Anyway, um, but I'll take all the candy. So if you want to send it to 5956 Smith Hill Road. Anyway, uh, Halloween just 13 days from now, and uh, we get ready for Thanksgiving. Uh, turkey shaking its tail feather. Uh, just 36 uh, days away, Hanukkah begins in 50. And then uh, good old St. Nick, jolly old elf, will be here in 68 days. All right, that's a look live tonight. We've got a good deal of clear sky out there. Temperature at 48 with a calm wind. Uh, and that's going to allow numbers to drop to right around 40, which is where we should be. Take a look at the sunsets as Bruce Springsteen once sang, darkness on the edge of town. So today the sun sets 612. Notice where we go. November, December, either side of 430. That's about the earliest it will be, though, because by the time we get to January, we uh, recover uh, to just before 5 o'clock. Temperatures tonight. Dropping into the 40s at last check, Marcy, Rome, uh, down to Paris, 48 in Clinton, uh, low 40s in Hartwick, Cooperstown at 45, it's 44 in Oneonta, and up north, temperatures right around 40 from Long Lake to Indian Lake, uh, Old Forge and Blue Mountain Lake as well. So again, we're noticing the clouds slowly start to clear out here, and we uh, go out a little bit wider, and you'll be able to see off to the west, that's our next storm system, very low pressure near the Arrowhead of Minnesota, northern Wisconsin. This storm system actually uh, heading for the east coast and will tend to redevelop into really what will be the season's first nor'easter by the time we get into this weekend. So a good deal of clear sky uh, evolving tonight, low temperatures near 40. A lot of sunshine early in the day tomorrow. And then we'll watch the clouds start to come in through the afternoon. But all the while, it's a south wind, so temperatures will get up into the mid-60s. Friday, quite a few clouds. There could be a spotty shower. Look at the steady, consistent rain to the east. Uh, but some of this may tend to bend west a little bit, so we might see the rain fill in a little bit by late Friday. Look at your day tomorrow. Mix of clouds and sun, mid-60s, Utica, Rome, down to the south. I think mid-60s in Edmiston, Oneonta, Richfield Springs at 64, and up across the Adirondacks. Uh, temperatures here in the mid-50s to the mid-60s uh, down in Herkimer. So look up tonight. You'll see some stars out there. Fresh, cool night, low near 40. Tomorrow, lots of sunshine early. Grab the shades, but again, those clouds will start to increase through the course of the day. Breezy, mild, highs into the mid-60s. Seven-day forecast, so uh, again, a few showers around on Friday, becoming a little steadier by evening. Still breezy and relatively mild, 64. Occasional rain Saturday, turning windy, and then windy and turning colder on Sunday with rain showers, lake effect rain showers, and some higher elevation wet snow Generally up in the Adirondacks, not here, uh, but maybe the first coating of snow up that way. 46, we clear the sky Monday. The growing season will likely come to an end Monday night. Low temperatures by Tuesday morning near 30, but a lot of bright sunshine. And uh, look at that rebound by midweek into the mid-60s. Definitely going to be chilly over this weekend. I'm not ready for it. Unless, like I said, buckle up, roller coaster ride. All right. The ups and downs of fall. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Craig, thank you. Next after this break, picking up a prescription might soon cost a little bit more. That's if a state proposal to up the fees gets passed. We explain when we come back. <laughs> 